today we're looking at mixed use development in a high density urban location. First thing to note is the access off the street. There's only a single point. And then we can see here from these triangles, the various points of access to the three separate building blocks. Circulation, how people move through a space is of primary concern. And once we have that set, we start to look at how actually these leftover spaces provide great opportunities for greening. So we can actually have larger green uninterrupted spaces. It's so important when we're discussing ecology that we provide these large and uninterrupted spaces. Bitty fragmented kind of green islands are of little value to biodiversity and ecology. Landscape planters are sometimes the only solution, but they're not ideal. What we really want to see, especially in terms of soil health, is connectivity. So coming back to the design of the space, we start to pull lines from these uh, contrasting building footprints, both parallel and perpendicular. It looks something like this. There's a great opportunity in landscape to actually resolve some of those conflicting lines and to unify the space. The open space should always relate back to the building rather than them being two isolated or separate pieces. We always have to design with the building in mind. So we start to see how these open spaces of green can actually work or be generated. And then we have this large area here. So we have these greening opportunities. Also at this time, we were informed about future access that needed to be retained for future services. And there's an attenuation tank just in this corner here, which actually helped to define our open bed here. Finessing that and actually bringing in all of the required elements, including bin storage, future access and informal seating, we're left with a plan that looks like this. We have some open lawn spaces, both rectilinear here and here. And then the other open spaces are for planting. So we have one here running across the front of the building there. Anywhere where we can squeeze in a cheeky pocket, we do. One final thing to note about this small rectilinear open space is that we've pushed the hard landscape elements out and installed a retaining wall here, which elevates the planting, but it also provides for informal seating area just in and along here. And our final rendered plan looks like this.